In this assignment, you're going to build this desk, and uh, the dimensions are here, the width, depth, and height. But a little bit later in this video, I'll show you how to set up your project. Uh, let's go to the next page, and remember, step one, don't panic, okay? Because this desk can be made by resizing and adjusting and positioning just cubes and just using basic tools, tools of Blender. Uh, make sure you review all the videos on the basic Blender tools. You're going to use the bevel tool a whole bunch when you build this desk. And this is the video you're watching right now. And then you will upload your uh, Blender file and life will be good. For more information on this desk is can be found through this link. It's at Lowe's and you can look at um, it's the same photos, but you can there's there's some extra stuff in there, and also if you scroll down somewhere is the specs. Here it is. It's kind of hidden. It's kind of weird, but here's the specifications um, that you can open up and get more precise measurements. However, the measurements I put on page one are sufficient. Okay, so now what the heck do you do here? Well, let's go into Blender, and um, you know now our uh, all our specs are in inches, right? Okay, and then in Blender world, everything is in meters. <clears throat> but again, like in 3D modeling, it doesn't matter if it's miles, inches, you know, centimeters, whatever, as long as, as long as you're consistent. But you should. Um, since we're working with inches, I'll show you how to change the units in Blender to inches. Come over to the right. Um, let's see. This icon here is Scene. Okay. Click on the Scene icon. And then one of the parameters in here is Units. So open that up. And the default is Metric hit the drop down menu and choose Imperial and we call it Imperial because it started with Great Britain came up with this system um, and America still uses it now length is in feet right now but we're working in inches with this project so hit the drop down menu and choose inches so ensure that in the scene properties that these are the units. Imperial and length uh, is in inches. Okay. Now, in a previous video, I showed you uh, how to use the sidebar. So we're going to open up the sidebar, and we can see that the uh, cube's default dimensions are here. So let's think about this. Look at our. Um, desk here so like my what I would suggest is you just make the the desk top first and then the side piece and then just just go from there so the desktop width is 47 inches and the desktop depth is 22 inches and if we look at the photo it, it's about one inch thick you know it's a one inch thick piece of wood 47 by 22 so what you're going to do is go into Blender, and you will let's see here. I wrote this all. I, I wrote it down so I don't mess it up. So the x value will be 47. The y value will be 22. And the z value will be one, one inch. Okay, it's one inch thick. Okay, so let's scroll in here on any day now as I've been I've been I've been having like so many tech problems with this computer this week okay anyway that's but that's my sob story not yours all right anyway so um, remember in blender world this over here if you can see the cursor to the left of the screen looking if you're standing at the left and looking to the right that is the front view so um, so this is cool. So we're, you know we got the desktop. So now we're going to make the uh, side piece. Let's go back to the specs. 
Now the side piece, <clears throat> let me zoom in a little bit more so we can see it better. Okay, so the, the overall height is 35 inches. That includes this little hutch at the top. So let's just make um, this piece here that from the, the floor to the uh, top <clears throat> of the table, that height is 30 inches. So what I would do is like make, make a 30 inch piece and then this is going to be about, oh, I don't know, probably about six inches down here. And this is going to be <clears throat> about five inches, five to six inches. So let's, let's review that again. Okay, from here to here, from the floor to the, 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 top, the desktop is 30 inches. The little hutch there, it's, it's about five or six inches high. The open area under here is approximately six inches. Okay, so <clears throat> you don't have to be like super duper exact on this. Just get the general feel of this. So let's make a piece 30 inches and then we can mess around with, you know, the height of this as we uh, go on. So anyway, go into Blender. <clears throat> let's make a new cube. And for the side piece to begin with, our X dimension is going to be uh, one inch, because it's just one, a one inch thick piece of wood. Our Y dimension is going to be the same as the depth. It's going to be 22, 22 inches. And our Z, like I said, is uh, 30, but that's going to change as I'll explain in a minute here. So th this is our parameters for the side piece. And I, I should tell you, name your uh, objects <laughs> as you're creating them. For this <clears throat> short demo, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I want you to name it top, and this will be right side. All right, <clears throat> so let's look at the front view. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. The front view can be reached by having negative Y in the gizmo, or you can go to view, viewpoint, front, and I covered that in a previous video. So here we are looking at the front. <clears throat> so let's move the side piece to the right just by using the move tool. And I'll leave just a little tiny bit of an overhang there and I'll zoom in on that in a bit, and then I'm going to move it down the Y axis. And from messing around with this uh, earlier, the location for the side piece for X is 22, uh, Y is 0, and the location for on the Z axis, the up and down axis, is negative 15.5. Okay, so life is good. All right, now let's take a look at this in uh, 3D world here. And this is what we got so far. Let me scroll up a little bit. Whoops, sorry. Scrolling up a little bit. All right, so now again, let me kind of rotate this. When I'm doing making a video and, and uh, doing this stuff, my computer stutters a lot, so sorry about that. Okie doke. So anyway, what we got here? Okay, what we got here is the tabletop and the this side piece, but caution time. Okay, I, I just made that just so I could have the the full length as a guide, right? Because if we look at the um, specs on the side, there's, you know, this side piece is 
this big and there's about six inches there so what the heck would you do well that's part of the assignment you know that it, uh, not to be a smart guy but I want you to figure out like okay what would you do well what I would do is select this and subtract six inches from the the Z okay so if I subtract six inches from the Z 30 minus 6 is uh, 24 okay so now it's smaller and then I would use the move tool just grabbing the z-axis and actually I would go into uh, I would go into the front view again actually okay front view and then I would position this piece like that okay and I would check this out okay now Z is at this weird number, uh, 12.47, and it's almost close. So, like, let's make that negative 12.5. And yes, I'm giving you the answers here. <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay, so now this is what we got so far. But remember, looking at the specs, that there's these legs that come down like six inches okay so taking a look at you know this the these there are these very wide legs that have a bevel on them and these legs are 30 inches this piece comes down 24 inches but there's a there's another block in there okay overlaying that side piece you know so this is gonna take some time and remember that all of these like the corners are rounded so watch the vi the video on how to bevel stuff all of these edges are beveled you know there's a there's a bevel here on the side of this uh, this front corner of the hutch the corners are rounded on the top and all of the uh, really all of the edges have a, a bevel applied to them okay so there's a lot of moving parts here, but as I say here in the specs, whoopsies, don't panic, okay? Do not panic. Take it one step at a time, and you'll be fine. Uh, the only last reminder, I, I did not name my objects as I created them. I suggest you do that, you know, calling them left, right, and so on. So take your time, <coughs> get the basic <coughs> pieces and parts in there before you start beveling stuff, and uh, and just just give it a shot. <laughs>